After 36 hours of travel, we have arrived in Tanzania to begin our first epic safari adventure. As we make our way into Tarangeri National Park, we look forward to what lies ahead. Entering deeper into the park, we see grassland, woodland trees, and the famous baobab tree, also referred to as upside-down trees the park is known for. With a total of 2,850 square kilometers, a few days is needed to explore this ecosystem that has plenty to offer with both prey and predators. What will we be fortunate enough to see during... Oh, it's getting up. Oh. Oh, yeah, it is. Good on him. Oh. oh, there we go. Yep. National Geographic going on. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, get it. Tanzania has one of the most significant remaining elephant populations. One of the highlights in Tarangeri was truly the African elephants. Seeing them forage and scratch on trees right next to us seems so normal. One elephant surprised us by tossing dirt on its back, which we were told helps it to cool down, repel bugs, and provide some sun protection. Our days here were filled with female, male, and baby elephants. So many that we lost count. We viewed many matriarchal groups as well as a group of males on the river. You get so close to them, it can be a bit intimidating at first. When they walk by you in your vehicle, it is very surreal. It seems like you could reach out and touch them, but we were not tempted to. So impressive. But a very wild animal with a great lifespan and memory. One animal we caught a glimpse of was verbet monkeys, which thrilled Aaron, who loves primates. But they darted around so much, it was very difficult to film them, but enjoyable nonetheless to watch them. As we arrived at Tarangere Safari Lodge, which is located in the heart of the park, we recognized we made the right choice of where to stay. Of course, that was after many hours of research that led us to this choice. The lodge sits on a bluff that overlooks the river. As you are led into the welcome area, you can't help but be immediately drawn out into the large terrace. As we make our way to the ledge, we are overwhelmed with various bird calls. At the ledge, we look down to see elephants on the river and other wildebeest and zebra in the distance. What a welcome. Expectations are surpassed. The view just takes your breath away. What a memory to treasure, stepping out to that view on our first night on safari. Looking out of the view and seeing the gorgeous lodge makes me look forward to seeing our tented canvas abode for the night. After my finger, there's a bunch of elephants. And so the little dots on this camera, but we can just make them out. In this park, there's just um, so many elephants. It's just amazing. So if you want to see elephants, come in June, and you'll see a ton of them. And we had a fabulous day. One of the highlights to start into the park was we saw a mother lion with two baby cubs. And so that was quite amazing. You hear so many different sounds. No matter where you are on safari, you just can't track them all. Uh, so many elephants. Like the elephants, we saw males, females, young. Uh, it was great when you see them scratch against a tree. And I don't know, what else? I mean, we just saw so many animals yesterday. It was just... Um, lion mating. A lion mating uh, with female. She was an estrus. Giraffes, zebras. We saw giraffes, zebras. Um, Wildebeest, and that's why we came in June, because that's when you have the migration in the area and you just have so many of them. We've literally seen thousands. We've lost track of how many we've been seeing of zebra and wildebeest, um, seeing gazelle, 
seeing the topi, seeing the elon, seeing the water buck. Um, what's the one with the tusk, the ground one? Warthog. Uh, uh, quite a few warthogs. And uh, in the park we were in yesterday, they said there's over 350 species of birds. We started to lose track. I've never seen so many new birds that I hadn't seen before in my entire life. Uh, we, we got some great photos and video, but it's just uh, just mind-boggling. Anything you can think of? Here. Uh, Aladdin has just made a fantastic. He's been able to. Uh, so our guide. Our guide has just uh, been able to identify so much without even like tiny birds on top of um, on top of mounds that are you know 30 meters away. He's like, oh look at there's a bird on that. Yeah, and there's a speck. And he knows color. what the bird is and. And yeah. seeing them on termite mounds, and then, um, I mean, we've seen eagles, we've seen small birds, I mean, what haven't we seen? It, yesterday was just phenomenal. I bet you they don't like to stay at the watering holes too long. <gasps> it's a, um, ostrich! <laughs> An ostrich! Oh my gosh! How exciting! We're so easy to please. <laughs> it's like, look, something new. <laughs> it's a bird. It's a plane. An ostrich. Yeah, it's a male too. There you go. It's definitely a male. <laughs> Here it comes. Are we supposed to batten down our hatches? No, they won't. Let's stop and look at this view. After checking out our luxury tent at Canvas Abode for the night, which by the way is amazing, we are moseying down to the lodge for a few sundowner drinks and dinner. If you want more details on our tented accommodations, we have posted a separate video on Terangari Safari Lodge which shows you all you would need to know to make a decision. After our long 12 hour day in our safari vehicle, it is a welcome respite to walk and stretch our legs. Be advised, you can only walk around the lodge in daylight hours solo but when it hits dark, you must be escorted to and from your tent for your safety. When we were at the lodge, elephants, gazelle, and smaller animals were wandering around. During the middle of the night, we heard so many animal sounds, with the most interesting being a hyena. We were told hyenas usually only laugh after they make a kill. Aaron heard one laugh during the night. I slept through that. We are ready to keep soaking it all in on our amazing African adventure.